Canada is turning into a dictatorship. If you are Canadian and you're seeing how the government does not care about its citizens, specifically its wealthy citizens, they want to control the press. They want to control your information freedom. Bills C-11 and C-18 control what you see. Even media from friendly countries like the United States now is blocked. You need a VPN to access certain things in China. Sorry, in Canada. Now you need a VPN in Canada out of all places. They want to control your financial freedom. They want to make sure that you're not financially free. If you step out of line, if you say something the government doesn't like, if you criticize the government, they want to be able to control your bank account, your crypto, your crypto exchange accounts. They want to make sure that you do exactly as they want. And they want to control your financial freedom with taxes. You're wealthy, you've made good amount of money. Okay, now pay 60% in tax, 50 something percent tax. You wanna buy a nice property for yourself and your family? Pay a high property tax that is increasing more property taxes luxury taxes, carbon tax. I'm not surprised if they start some sort of travel tax because while the elites, while the government travels all over the world in private jet, you need to stay home because you need to control your emissions. You can't eat meat. Just stay at home, be a good little boy. And the government travels all over the world in their private jets and goes on million dollar vacations. While you have to stay at home, you don't get to enjoy luxury. You get taxed on your luxury. If you try to criticize or even confront the politicians, you get violently arrested and threatened, as we saw with Rebel News. Just a couple of questions. They just wanted to ask a couple of questions. They just wanted to confront one of the politicians and they got violently arrested, threatened, pushed for just wanting to ask questions, wanting to confront the decisions of the government that are affecting everyone. And if you're wealthy, you have options. And now we're seeing how Canada wants to control your wealth as much as possible. If you're not a minority, if you're not LGBT, you are the enemy. Specifically, if you're wealthy, you're definitely the enemy because you've made your own financial freedom. You have the opportunities to do whatever you want. And if you stay in Canada, it's looking really, really dark for you. We're looking at a government that wants to benefit refugees and immigrants from other countries more than its own citizens, especially its own wealthy citizens. You're seeing Canada slowly, but surely, turning into this place that controls your every move, controls how you spend your money with CBDCs controls how they tax you, what information you can get access to. I'm not surprised if in three years, five years, it will be almost impossible to access any media, any news, any social media from Canada that comes from anywhere else in the world because they want you to consume only Canadian information, which they obviously control. They want to control your food supply. They want to control what you do on a daily basis how you spend your money. There's been many people that have been living in Canada for many years, immigrants, and they apply for Canadian citizenship and the government finds out, oh, you've been posting on YouTube about how Canada is really bad and you've been posting about how the government is overreaching its citizens. We will deny your Canadian citizenship request or we will deny you even a passport. I'm not surprised if in a couple of years, if you criticize the government, if you make videos like this, you're denied a passport, you're denied some rights and the great benefits that everybody talks about, the healthcare, the free transportation, the amazing peace in Canada, that is all deteriorating. Crime is increasing. The healthcare is in shambles. People are moving out of Canada to even the United States. They're moving to Mexico. They're moving to Europe because they see what's going on. I've met Canadians all over the world in Costa Rica and El Salvador and Argentina because they see what's happening. It's slowly, it's like a frog that is boiling in a pot. It's slowly boiling until it's too late. The frog can't jump out and it boils to death. That's exactly what's happening to Canadians. You're being boiled to death very slowly. Bill by bill. Government decision by government decision. And it's your responsibility as a wealthy individual to get residency somewhere else. Many Canadians are choosing Mexico as a first place to go, or even Miami, just opening a bank account outside of Canada. There was recently a huge event in the UFC and everybody was saying, I'm not surprised if all those people somehow get their bank accounts closed. Somehow, get their social media restricted. Somehow the police shows up at their house saying, hey, what were you saying? F the president. You can't say that. You can't criticize our policies and they'll threaten you with their power. Slowly but surely controlling the population until you're boiling, until it's too late to get out. Get a residency somewhere else. Get citizenship somewhere else. Citizenship by investment. A lot of Canadians have ancestry from other countries. So you can have a second passport in case you criticize the government, in case you go to a protest, in case you deny Whatever the government wants you to do, you have another citizenship in case they cancel your passport. You have another place to go. You have a bank account somewhere else. You have a crypto exchange somewhere else because they also want to control your crypto. You have property in other countries so you don't have to deal with their crazy property taxes or their crazy luxury tax or the taxes that they keep imposing on its wealthiest citizens. Canada, the Canadian government specifically, does not have your best interest 
in mind. The WEF, World Economic Forum, has infiltrated the government. The globalists have a plan. The government has a plan. It is not this peaceful, loving place where you can do anything you want. You can enjoy your money. It's turning very dark. And I've talked to a lot of Canadians and they all have the same perspective on their country. Get a second residence, second citizenship, open a bank account somewhere else, get a hardware crypto wallet tied to an exchange in another country and start putting in the plan to either leave Canada completely or at least have a strong second home that you can go at any time. Really quick, if you're looking to lower your taxes, increase your freedom, get the best possible options for residency and citizenship around the world, I have launched the Wealthy Expat Private Mastermind, a free private group that you can join with the link in the description. Ask any questions that you have on any of the programs, meet tax experts, participate in weekly Q&A calls directly with me and mastermind with other members of the Wealthy Expat community. The link will be in the description. I'm excited to see you there. If you want to see what countries, what passports Canadians are choosing around the world to increase their freedom, lower their taxes, improve their asset protection, improve their freedom, online financial press freedom check out this video right here on the 10 countries that canadians are choosing all over the world that i recommend my wealthiest canadians you want to check them out right here